So I'm a big fan of artificial intelligence and with all these tools and techniques coming in, I used artificial intelligence, I did some coding, I analyzed more than 3,574 LinkedIn profiles of biotech researchers. Now you may ask why exactly 3,574, not more than that, because by the time I finished um, 3,574th uh, profile on LinkedIn, LinkedIn uh, realized that it is a bot which is doing all this and it blocked us. So of course we had to stop it right there. So I could analyze 3,574 LinkedIn profile using artificial intelligence and what I found, I'm going to tell you in this video. So I saw that majority of them had published more than four to five papers. So I'm talking about only, you know, experts, experienced professionals in the biotech industry, not new ones. So probably they had at least 10 years of experience. So all these people had more than five plus research papers published in high impact journal. They had a research profile and they were actively getting citations. So that's the first point. The second point of what I saw is most of them, a majority of them owned at least one patent. Now, this, this is something tough, but yes, they had done it. The third, which I saw is they were not switching jobs frequently. Like they stayed in a job for a minimum of three years and then they switched the job. So that's the third point, which I saw that is what, you know, get um, all the at attention from the recruiters. So that's one thing. Next one, what I saw is they didn't limit themselves to the home city. So if they were from Kolkata, they moved out to Bangalore. If they were from Bangalore, they moved out to the Bay Area. If they were from California, they moved out to European Union. Whatever it is, wherever they got the opportunity, they moved there. They didn't limit themselves to the city they were born in. Okay, so that's a point. That's the fourth point for today. Now, the next one which I found, the fifth point which I found is they had kept on updating their knowledge. They did a lot of cross-function, cross-domain research. They did a lot of certifications online, offline. They spoke in various conferences and, um, you know, of course, uh, did a lot of networking. So that's something which you should know. The sixth point which I found out in these profiles is they all actually, that's how I actually found out is they all had a very, very powerful LinkedIn profile. They were very active on LinkedIn. They had a very powerful LinkedIn profile and they were really doing some kick ass networking on LinkedIn. So that's a point which you all must be doing. You must be active on LinkedIn. That's how my software picked them up. So the next one, which I found out many of them had cross domain functions. So let's say they were a biochemist, they learned bioinformatics, they were physicists, learned biotech, or they were a bioinformatician, learned physics. You know, they always tried to do a cross match, cross domain function and learn newer things. The benefit of this would, was they were always getting invited to conferences, they were always visible and the you know top notch companies were inviting them for research and for jobs. So that's one uh, good trait I found in these CVs. The last one which I found was very interesting and that was, uh, I can say a culmination of all this. I can conclude that they took risks early in their life. They took heavy bets, they um, did PhDs, they did postdoc, they went out of academia, went in the industry, uh, worked at a lower salary at times but learned newer things and then jumped on to a bigger company, bigger salary fat package. So all this is what I could find out in my small uh, research uh, software, which I created and which, you know, went through the entire LinkedIn and found out 3,574 CVs of successful biotech professionals. And these are the eight traits I found. Now, the reason I told you all this is because to be successful, we must reverse engineer success. And today I told you eight reasons why they are successful. If you can reverse engineer this, you can also be successful. Success always is a recipe. You want to make a paneer butter masala, you have to follow the recipe. You want to make a successful career in biotech research, you have to follow the recipe. The recipe was just given in this video, go follow it. And you need any kind of guidance, help or any kind of mentorship, you can reach out to me, comment below what are, what are your questions or you can email me at shaker at biotechnica.org. I am here, right here to guide you because I know the person watching beyond this camera has all the potential to win a Nobel Prize and I want to be that catalyst to help you get there. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Till then, Namaskar.